All right, welcome to another Forerunner how-to video. Today we're going to be replacing our reverse lights on a 2003 Toyota Forerunner. This will work very similar for models 2003 through 2009. Basically, you don't need any tools, just your replacement bulbs. I'll get a close-up shot of these guys. This is the brand that I uh, suggest, as well as the model number. Make sure you got that correct. I'll put a link in the description box below where you can check it out on Amazon. And if you type in your car, it'll actually make sure you do have the correct bulb. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and, uh, and take a peek and get started at this guy. Okay, in order to get to our reverse light, we're going to have to come around here to the back side of the housing. And there's a little panel right here that you can just pull open. And uh, once you basically have that open, it gives us access to all of our uh, tail lights. And uh, basically what you have is the, uh, the, the turn indicator light up there. You have the tail light and brake light in the middle. And on the bottom, we have our reverse lights. So in order to get out the, uh, the reverse bulb, all we need to do is reach down in there, grab those two tabs that are kind of sticking up down there, and we're going to turn counterclockwise about 15 degrees. So I'm going to pull back, reach in there, you'll hear a little pop. And that means uh, the bulb has loosened. You can see it moved about 15 degrees. I'm just going to go ahead and pull that out. And as you can see, there's our, our bulb and the, uh, the housing. Okay, there's our bulb and the housing. Uh, I'm gonna grab a new bulb here out of the packaging and uh, we'll pop it in and basically reverse the steps here. Okay, we've got our new bulb in. Again, I highly suggest rubbing this down with a, uh, a rag or a cloth just to make sure you get your finger uh, oils off of there. Uh, that can really burn out these bulbs uh, when they get really, really hot and have that oil on top of the glass there. Okay, our last step now is to put our bulb back into the slot there, and then we're going to go count or clockwise this time, and you're going to give it a nice little twist, about 10, 15 degrees, and you'll hear that pop right back in. So there are a couple of notches in there that you need to make sure you have correctly uh, aligned, and once it slides in, then you'll know to twist in the clockwise position. All right, once you hear that pop, it means the... Uh, the light has gone back into place. All right, now that the bulb is in fact working and in place, I'm just gonna pop this little piece back in and and there we go. That's about it, friends. Um, yeah, hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned, we're gonna have a lot more tips and tricks, tutorial videos. If you wanna know how to do any of these other uh, bulb replacements, I'll put videos in the description box below. Take care, we'll see you soon.